Hi cuties, hello. All right, we're, we're doing the thing. This is my 2024 goals video, as well as an explanation of where the hell I went. <laughs> if you've been following me, you may have noticed, you might not have noticed at all, I'm not that important, that I didn't post anything for litmus, which I do every year. Usually I post 25 videos in December, kind of recapping the year and having fun shenanigans. And I also kind of dropped off in November. So I was gone for a couple months. And there were a lot of things that went down. Um, and I feel like you guys can, you know, you, you deserve a little bit of insight. I won't be going into the gory details about some of the things that happened. I will kind of explain some things and some changes that will be going on, or that did go on, and then the changes that I will be performing in order to accommodate what went down. I'm fine, and I'm currently safe. I can tell you that. Uh, what started was my old apartment that you used to see me from all the time was a great place and i did really like that apartment uh even with the <laughs> obnoxious children bothering me all the time don't worry they still found me on tiktok so that's fine <laughs> their parents know i'm on their parents tiktok as well in case anyone was ever weirded out by the fact that i like befriended the children <laughs> of the apartment complex all of their parents know and know me and we're good. I really like that place. And then I don't know how exactly. And I also don't know who exactly. I discovered that someone, a viewer of some capacity, found me, found where I lived. And it wasn't a cool like, oh, hi, we never met face to face. I was receiving messages in my mailbox, like physically put there. They weren't like dated. There was no return address and they were not nice messages. And they were very threatening and gross sometimes. And sometimes there would be objects left for me uh, at my door. And I was no longer safe. I was already starting to have some issues because of noise and like at one point the neighbors decided to be a good idea to roast an entire like goat on a spit in the courtyard. So it was filled with, that was a big problem. Um, <laughs> but, and then I was without heat for an extended period of time and my inquiries to maintenance were going ignored. Um, so there was a lot of issues and I was already planning on like, all right, we're gonna start looking for a new place. We're not gonna stay here um, for the rest. So like once I, my lease is up, we'll go. And my lease there wasn't up until May. Um, so I still had time. I was just gonna like suffer through it, but then the messages started happening. And I, I still to this day don't exactly know who had who did it. I have some suspects, um, I, I, but I can't confirm who. I, I regret not replacing my security camera. So I had a security camera in my window and it broke. And I just kind of left it there. So it still looked like I had a security camera, but the cord, like something hit it. And so the actual plug cord thing snapped. So the wire snapped um, and I never replaced it. Cause I was like, oh, I'll fix it at some point. And I didn't. And that was a mistake because then I might've caught who was doing these things. So I had to vacate. I had to break my lease, which is still costing me a pretty penny. I'm actually fighting with that previous landlord because what they told me it was gonna cost. Uh, and then they just sent me a new bill. That's not what it cost. So I'm a little upset with that. Um, and I moved to a new place, right? Moved to a new place. I'm in a different city. Not this one, not, not this one. We're not there yet. Uh, and it was a bit smaller and it was more expensive. It had a lot of issues that were not presented to me when I was first looking at the place. Number one, uh, accessibility for one, there's, they never even told me there was an elevator. I discovered there was an elevator. You get out of the elevator, there's a freaking step. How is that useful for anyone? What's the, you just, just completely disregarded the accessibility for disabilities. Like what the heck? So that was annoying. And then there's a step to get into your apartment. Very annoying. Uh, but then I found by the, uh, not, not long into staying there, there were cockroaches everywhere. They, I was, it was infested with cockroaches. I found from a, another resident that the reason is because right next to my apartment there, 
the next door neighbor was evicted for a lot of violations and that is where they came from and they just moved into my place and so I had so many fights with that place being like this place is unlivable the lease is void I spoke to an attorney about it uh and got out and I immediately found I was looking immediately as fast as I could for another place and I looked at a couple other places before we found where I'm currently at so I was really only at that apartment for like two weeks I think two three weeks I don't even know time means nothing to me right now time is an illusion um so I was like living out of half and half out of two apartments because I couldn't actually finish moving into the cockroach infested place because the elevator broke there and I couldn't get all my stuff into the new place uh, and luckily I still had the old place until a certain date uh, and then we had to move here now that this time I was just tired of trying to ask people because to be real I'm super alone here <laughs> I'm really, really alone. I don't have a lot of people who can help me, especially at like last minute. Everyone's working who I do know here or they live very far away from me. Um, and my family I, is not many able-bodied slash able to leave where they are for a long time to come and help me move all my stuff. And because I have all these books, no one actually wants to help me, which really sucks. So it's really just me. So I ended up having to hire a moving company. And I regret this so, so, so much because they scammed me so hard. They charged me and they ended up charging me uh, m almost double what they had originally quoted me for. I tried to fight with them on it. They were awful. It was a terrible situation. The actual movers were really nice guys. Um, but dealing with that billing lady was a nightmare and it caused me to like break down crying at work so that's great yeah for this last like month and a half i really was like crying every single day uh because I, I, my life was just like spiraling out of control i was very very i felt very unsafe i had a convention where i had an interaction where i was like is this person the one stalking me i don't know uh because it was a very weird situation no one i haven't had anything follow me here as of right now which has been great. Um, but you, my emotions have been, huh, and my finances have been, Pleh. I was doing so good too, because I was finally clearing a bunch of debts away and stuff. And then I just had to go ahead and use all of my credit cards again to cover the costs of moving, of breaking leases and stuff. And I'm so, 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 so much in debt now because of this. And I don't know how I'm going to get out of it. Uh, I'm going to make a page. <laughs> what was going on. I did not have any time to film. I wanted to. I had all these great fun videos planned. I might scatter a few of them out throughout the, the year because um, I'm not gonna, I don't have time still to do like film all this stuff because now we're in 2024 and I have a lot of other things going on and I'm working full time and trying to just get myself on my feet again after all of this. There's also some more you know, personal stuff going on that I'm not going to talk about on camera that is very tumultuous and going to take up a lot of my time and mental energy and emotional energy. Um, so there's a lot, there's just so much going on and I'm, I'm just, I was, I was struggling really, really bad. I'm still struggling pretty bad, but it's better than it was in those two months where I was gone. That's kind of what happened. We're here. We're moved in, we're situated, Mamba was happy, and we just had Fee visit. I literally just dropped Fee off at the airport and then came back and decided to film this because I'm late on everything and I'm trying to get back on track with things. So, ha, we're here and it's 2024 and it's a, I, I said before that it was a year of drafting and it might honestly not be. It might actually be the year of recording, not videos, but audiobooks. Um, because I realized I really, I didn't publish the Memory of the Hoop Boy last year like I wanted to as an audiobook because everything kind of went to hell with that. Uh, and so I have, I'm actually focused on recording all of Hoop Boy this month and getting it edited and fixed and because I edit those as I go um, edit every chapter I record I immediately edit that's it takes me a, several hours to do one chapter so we're really focusing on my spare time this month on that um, 
And then I want, I would love to just get Ashport done because as much as I love my first book series and stuff, I'm, I have so many other ideas and Ashport, while it was my debut, I know my own problems with it. And so having to reread it again and like, I'm glad that people like it as far as I know, <laughs> people like it. Um, but for me, I'm like, I can see where I was and now I can see how far I've come in terms of my writing skill that I'm like, I just want to leave it be. <laughs> Look at Eric be done. Uh, but I want it to be accessible for everybody, which is why we're doing the audiobooks. Uh, I wish I had the funds to hire people to do it, but it is just <laughs> me recording it. So, um, so it's a little bit of both a drafting year and an audiobook year. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you my 2024 goals. I'm not doing a 24, 2024. I think I really learned my lesson in terms of how much I put on myself in past years. So I'm kind of taking it a little bit more lax, especially with how the game is going and my trackers, my milestone trackers and stuff. That's more my goals, like growing a lot of my social media, um, and letting those milestone markers be more of the goals. Um, and those are explained in the TBR video if you didn't see them. But I do have some other bigger overarching goals that we're gonna go over. I have unlucky 13 of them, but I do actually love the number 13, so. I have a nice little planner uh, that I'm gonna actively use, I tell myself. So there's a bunch of stuff that is kind of carried over from last year, not a bunch, but a few things. And one of that is publishing all of the short stories that I did in 2022, uh, and then culminating them into a big anthology and getting that done. Uh, we are <laughs> almost halfway with those. I'm, a, I'm going to be publishing uh, Love and Subscribe this month, which is my contemporary romance. Uh, and then I just got the edits back on the uh, kind of horror thriller. Uh, so hopefully we'll have uh, a cover for that soon and we'll be able to publish that and I'm still working on the edits for the other stories but that's one of our big ones and then it's like I said all the audiobooks so the Hoopoy audiobook the Karuda audio audiobook and the Esranum audiobook hoping to do all of those the two biggest drafts that I'm going to be drafting this year are definitely going to be Acing It which is my own contemporary asexual romance story and Hispacac 2. Uh, those are I'm I think limiting myself to the two of them will be more manageable. Most of acing it is already already drafted. I need to finish it. Um, but Hispacac 2 is not drafted at all. It's I keep changing my outline because I can't seem to settle on a lot of elements of what we're doing with book two. Uh, I like when I wrote book one, I had such a clear idea of what was going on. But book two, I'm less clear about it. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. Then one of my two other goals that I need to do is because I am a very go, 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 go person. What I'd like to do is go on an actual vacation somewhere that's not like visiting a family member. It's not visiting anyone really. It's like a solo vacation somewhere. Although I'll take Mamba with me because um, I have some flight credits I'd like to use, but I would really like to just go somewhere on my own and do that again. Um, I really feel like I need that because the past few like vacations I've done have not been for great things. There's been funerals and there's, that's pretty much what it's been. Um, so I would like to do something that's fun, but also not with the pressure of like other people. <laughs> that sounds so mean, but I would like to do that. And then I would also like to do like a staycation where I just can be at home without any worries and read and and just have some fun so that's kind of a goal there as well one of the other bigger goals is to make a whole new website i was trying to learn i've been trying to learn coding for years i just i don't have the patience i think i don't know i need like an actual classroom <laughs> to learn coding i can't be trusted to do it myself but there are programs out there so i'm going to be looking into some other websites um to build a new website because the one i have I, my sister made it for me and remembering how to edit the things on that without calling her and being a nuisance that way is very stressful. So I would like to make one that's more accessible, not just for Ashport, because right now my, my website is ashportarchives.com. And it shows Ashport Archives, it doesn't really show anything else. And I'm more than just that series. So I would like to make a full website that is brand new and has all the things that I wanted in it. Um, so yeah, then I would like to sell 
100 copies of Hispacac. Uh, I don't really, I'm really bad about tracking this kind of stuff, but it seems to be a lot of other indie authors out there I've noticed their goals has been like sell 100 copies and get to that and I've never tracked that I've just kind of like gone to conventions and done what I do and so I would like to actually do that then I'm going to be changing how I do my reviews of books that I'm reading I'm not going to be doing giant videos anymore I mean I might still post it as a big chopped up video but anytime I finish a book I'm gonna post a short about it. A short, a TikTok, an Instagram reel. That's what I'm gonna do for reviews from now on. I feel like that will serve the purpose better because in the long run in looking at what content people actually are watching on my channel, it's not the reviews. <laughs> people don't care. So it's because I, I read so many books in a month that watching that video it's too much for a lot of people. So I think the shorts will better benefit both of us. And then doing regular updates on my Kofi, promoting my Kofi more, uh, and like a newsletter both on my Kofi, and I do have an actual mailing newsletter. I, I kind of hate newsletters myself. I don't like getting them, so I also understand when people don't like and unsubscribe from my newsletter. I do have like a hundred people on it, but I'm so bad at using it. But it is there. It does exist, so hopefully do better that way. And really, really, really promoting my Kofi because Kofi can now act like a Patreon. Um, so it's really the same function. You can do either just donate as you wish. Um, you can buy things from my shop, but now you can also subscribe just like a Patreon does. Um, and you can donate that way. But it, I don't think it's like a tier level like Patreon. It's like you subscribe and you get everything, um, but you're just like an extra special person. <laughs> so I currently have one subscriber on Kofi. Uh, so if you'd like to be number two, the slot is open. I am going to try to post things early on there for Kofi so that you guys have that special perk if that's something you are interested in. Um, but yeah, those are kind of my goals. Those are my goals. That's what I wrote down. Those are 13 goals for 2024. That's where we're at. I have an old vlog that actually from the old cockroach infested apartment that you'll see uh, because I did read fourth wing so coming soon will be that it's very delayed because I'm like I have these other things I need to put up like the TBR video needed to go up and this video needed to go up and then we're gonna have a bunch of those thirsty vlogs that sounds weird when I say it like that thirsty book vlogs is what we're doing so <laughs> yeah all right, well, that's um, it, that's it. That's what I've got for you. Cool, I am still gonna keep my usual schedule of uploading on Fridays, and I might sprinkle in some others throughout the week, depending on how much content. I do think January, you're gonna get a few more videos than normal, because I do have the fourth wing vlog. I'm gonna have two more vlogs from the TBR this month to also post and then the February TBR and whatever shenanigans else. I'm doing a ton of streaming. Um, oh, that's another thing I forgot I wanted to mention uh, in my calendar. So every Friday, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, that's 8 p.m. Eastern, I host live streams. I'm also on Hollis channel on Mondays for Creative Commons at roughly the same time. Sometimes we start early, but I'm organizing so that I have uh, at least one full day a month where I have a 10k writing day and a full reading day and a crafting day. So I will be posting my schedule, like my streaming schedule. I'll be making one of those and posting that to my Kofi and in my Discord as well. I can't get the Discord link to always be good, by the way. It's very annoying. Um, so I have to constantly update it. So if it doesn't work, just put in the comments doesn't work and I'll fix it really quickly. Um, but it, like it, no matter what, it always expires, even though it says never expire when you copy the link. Very silly, very stupid. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we're doing those. We're streaming a lot more. I am hoping to really get back into the groove of writing since last year was like all editing all the time. Um, and I'd like to get out of just editing. But this year, I guess I really can't say it's the year of something because it's, we've got a smorgasbord of things. We have editing to do, we have publishing to do, we have drafting to do, we have recording to do. We've got a lot of stuff to do. Cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Leave any questions or comments down below, and I'll see you next time, cuties.